Yo, 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 what's going on, everyone? Thank you again for stopping by. My name is Dutchline, and in this video, we start on a new project. This one will be for the Grey Seals, and this is the start of the build of the enclosure. In the previous video, we finished the enclosure for the Pingwings. It turned out quite nice. The overall look is pretty much exactly that I hoped it would be at the end of the day. So quite happy with the result. And as you can see, we are already partially deleting set build, unfortunately. But it's all for the greater good at the end of the day. Because we're going to build a underwater viewing area for the guests to look at the gray seals. It was a perfect setting to make set viewing area. So yeah, like there was pretty much no other choice to actually um, yeah, get this sort of over with. As in deleting the wall. The viewing area itself will be quite big and I don't believe that the guests will use all of it uh, but at least the middle portion will be used as like a main viewing area. Later on in the upcoming episodes you'll see that the sides of the viewing area, so where the wall stops, there's not a whole lot of water that these seals can sort of use to swim around. It was more to fill up the space and get it more symmetrical in a way. So it will not be used. But we still had to make it to make it look nice. In the beginning I had quite some issues overall. Especially with the water area that's going to be for the seals. I wasn't really determined how big it needed to be. How much space it would actually cover. And if it would look nice if it would make a big yeah, water body so to speak. So it's quite, quite interesting. I had some issues there. But I think at the end of the day it's came out okay-ish there's still a couple things that we can definitely make better and maybe in the near future whenever we finish this build we might actually go back to it and maybe change some things if necessary but the general idea and yeah like the layout itself is in a good state right now in this video though more in the end of the video you'll see a weirdly shaped water area so don't focus too much on it because it will all change in upcoming episodes. It was more to give like a general, yeah, a general view, a general area idea what it needed to be. Because something else that we're going to do in this area, in the aquatic section of the zoo, is to create a small uh, creek that goes from the start of the penguin area, so to speak, and the side of the other enclosure. It's a big open area and here and there you will see it in this video. We haven't really focused on that section yet. Uh, but we want to make a creek that goes along the dome and potentially connects to this water area for the seals. It will not be used by the seals, but it will be connected to that area. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do that yet. So it's going to be yeah, like a lot of trial and error sessions, so to speak. But it's still an idea that I would like to try to sort of get implemented in the overall area for the aquatic animals. But as always, I'm not going to go too far in the future yet. We're going to focus on this build first. And as you can see, we already got some yeah, planning going for the water area. Once again, it will not be this big. But we had to make a start at least to get the barrier in. And we're going to implement the water, or at least the clear water trick as well for this enclosure. We already done that for the penguins to get nice and clear water. We didn't do that with the other habitat though. And I kind of wished we did at the end of the day, but it's also the smallest water area for either of the aquatic animals, so to speak, or these animals that came with the aquatic DLC. So it was important to get it sorted for the penguins and also for the gray seals. And as you can see, we are already starting on set trick, which is uh, getting implemented right now. And once again, in the future, whenever we get the, um, the underwater section done and nicely decorated and we place water inside, it will look quite nice. It will sort of be the same look as what we had going for the penguins. So that's quite nice overall. The underwater viewing area will not be super sophisticated. It was only one big slab of pathing that went down and that is pretty much it we wanted to follow the enclosure for the penguins itself as well and that's also the reason why the glass barrier is also in an in a curve it's not a 
a half a circle, or at least not a perfect one. But because the area is so big, I kind of had to place that one small piece of straight glass in there. So it's not a perfect half circle, but it's still, yeah, it's still okay. And in this episode, we are also starting on decorating the underwater viewing area. Also the top viewing area. It's a yeah, little idea, so to speak, to fill the space up as well. And because we're going into a sort of circular build, I thought it would be quite funny and nice looking to create a circular top viewing area, so to speak. You also see that in this episode right now. As always, all the builds over here on YouTube have been built live over on Twitch. I will leave a link once again in the description. So please feel free to click the link. You'll get redirected to the Twitch page and you'll be able to check out all the builds live. We also answer questions, share inspiration, get general ideas as well for upcoming builds. So if that's something that you like to see or want to be a part of, then once again, please feel free to click that link below in the description and it will be awesome to see you in those live streams. For now though, I will leave you all with the remaining of the speed build. Hopefully you all will enjoy as always. And hopefully I will see you all in the next video over here on YouTube. Otherwise over the live stream on Twitch. Once again, link in the description. Feel free to join up if you want to. And hopefully, yeah, I will see you later. Stay safe though, as always. Stay cool. I will see you all in the next one. See you all later. Bye bye.